We all ready? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I apologize. I always wind up apologizing for us. We're running a little late, but I assure you we get a lot done in conference session as well. Adequate notice of this November the 10th, 2016 meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by posting written notice and agenda of a meeting on the bulletin board in the municipal building, 1000 Route 10, Township of Hanover, by hand delivering, mailing, or faxing such notice and agenda to the following newspapers. Morris County's Daily Record, the Star Ledger, Hanover Eagle, and by filing same with the Township Clerk. Have a roll call, please. Committee Man Gallagher. Here. Committee Man Faramaska. Here. Committee Man Bruno. Here. Committee Man Capola is out sick and recuperating from the bad cold. And Mayor Francie Elwood. Here. Four members in attendance, sir. Thank you, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise, those that may, and join me in a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Okay, gentlemen, at this time, I'd like uh, a motion to open so the floor to the public. Second. Move second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the floor is open. If you'd like to address the township committee, please do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Ed Moscarello, 27, Malpartis Road, Whippany. <laughs> Quick check. I, you, you knew this was coming. Quick check has been open less than a, a month and the problems there are the problems that every resident on Malapartis Road got up and said was going to happen and it has now happened. The signage over there means nothing. People don't obey signs and people on Malapartis Road who came up talked about the problems with Quick Check. It has now come to pass and at this point, I doubt if there's anything that can be done. People do not know that coming down uh, Jefferson Road, that you can go into Ukraine. Very few people uh, <clears throat> know exactly what's what with Quick Check. People who've never been in the area come around Route 10 and they go into Ukraine and make a U-turn to go north on Jefferson. The other mm -hmm. morning, Friday morning, I turned on to Ukraine, a uh, food truck, a, sh a short trailer truck that just delivered food at Quick Check came barreling out of the entrance. And the guy never slowed down cut right in front of me and he looked at me because he knew he, he did something wrong. Uh, people turn onto, turn into Quick Check from South Jefferson Road, they make a left. There's two signs this big, people one after another. Then I was there one day, <coughs> I saw a uh, tanker unloading so I figure I'll stay around. I want to see how this guy maneuvers. He went out the uh, Route 10 exit, but because of the way it's curved, he pulled part way out, then he had a backup, and then when he turned out again, he had to jump the curb, go over the grass, and he had to cross two lanes to make the turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, one of those tankers came out Ukraine, went up to Malapartis, and made a, a K turn right at the uh, intersection of Malapartis Road and uh, Ukraine. This is a tanker. And uh, trucks park along Ukraine Road in front of the brand new signs that say no stopping or standing. This is every day. I called the police one day. When they came, they said they had no jurisdiction, uh, you know, with parking or quick check. Uh, and I remember you, you passed an ordinance about the no parking. 
correct? No stopping or standing. No stopping right. or standing. That was October they do it every day. Now, do the police not know that they are allowed to ticket these people or? We, we've been, uh, and Ed, by the way, you're not going to get any disagreement from this chair. Um, as you know, we've been out there. George has been out there. I've been out there. We've camped out there. The chief's been out there. Um, we see traffic movements that, um, that we are totally disagree with and that are not consistent with what was uh, in the design plan for quick check. Um, some of these issues that you've experienced, I've experienced. Um, I was just saying on the, this, this morning, uh, being caught in the queue coming northbound on uh, Jeff and somebody came out of the Jefferson Road uh, entrance there. It happened to be a dump truck and turned to my left and I'm looking at the grill of a Mack truck. So he made a left turn to go north on, on Chuck. Not permissible on the signage, not permissible by design of the way the entrance way was supposed to favor going southbound on Jeff. So you had to deliberately come out and turn your vehicle in order to get into the queue. Today, is that for me? <laughs> Joe um, did that to me one time, Ron. Is, oh, <laughs> God, is that, is that, is that with me? Does today, that mean my four um, minutes are up? Today we, we, know, today we contacted the, the DOT. Uh, it's not my favorite agency to talk to, okay? Um, and, uh, and I'm not going to let that stand in the way of what has to be done. But the reason we contacted the DOT is they control the intersection down to Ukraine. And then they control the intersection on, the, uh, on our side, on the township side, past the police driveway, you know, down to ours. We informed them that we were going to put up, what am I going to put up? Stanchions. Stanchions, thank you. I keep calling it Ballards. We were going to put up a row of rubber stanchions, those uh, rubber collars that are permanently fixed to the road, uh, separating the three-lane section going north from the two-lane section going south at the face of that exit driveway. That's only one resolution. There's okay. one. That, that may, unless the guy with the Mack truck decides he's going to run them over, that may slow it down, okay? Uh, we're hoping it will stop it, period. My concern, the chief's concern, George's concern, the committee's concern is all the other movements that are going on because now I'm watching people at lunch hour, and again, I'm agreeing with you, coming out of that, legally coming out of the Jefferson Road exit, and instead of using the Route 10 exit because they know they've got to come around Route 10 and make their turn in the jug handle to go northbound. Do they know it? You know, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure that they don't know it, but, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that for a moment. But now what we see is that they're coming into Ukraine. They're coming legitimately out the Jeff exit. They're going down 50 feet, 100 feet, and then they're going into Ukraine to make their U-turn exactly. to come back into the queue to come back. Got pictures of it. Um, we did notice some things immediately that have to get done. And by the way, Quick Check's responsibility, and we've been in touch with them as well. The curbing from that one-way entrance in, the curbing toward uh, Malapartis has to be extended all the way down to, is it Mrs. Kizak's house? Mm -hmm. Is that the house uh, immediately back there? That curbing stops way short of that. So what they're doing is coming off the road, they're even going onto the grass, and they're cutting across there. So the curbing's got to be high, it's got to be legitimate curbing. I can't say put extra high curbing in there because then somebody else comes after me. But we've got to put the curbing in all the way down to stop. Is that going to stop the U-turns? I, I, Chief and I had this discussion, and and uh, you know he's giving me some reminders to check my driver's manual because U-turns are legal in the state of New Jersey. Now you know so so how do I go about controlling? you know, the, uh, the, uh, the U-turns in there. And I think that's the question the committee has as a whole. And we want answers on that. And I think we'll, the chief is looking further into what we can do with, uh, I don't know what, what authority Title 39 is going to give me on that road. That's what I was asking the chief. But I think there's more work. There is no doubt there's more work got to be done. If we all played by the rules, 
You wouldn't be wasting, you, you're not wasting your time, but you wouldn't be, have to be here tonight if they all played by the rules. But they're all looking at this facility now, use it, get their gas, buy whatever they want to buy, and they want the quickest way out or the easiest way to get back into northbound without having to get back into the, 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 the turnaround queue. So, I mean, that's the way I see it, and I think, uh, I hope you agree with that observation at least, you know, that that's what's going on. Well, I think people don't know about the uh, jug handle. Yeah. Because people come off of Route 10 and go right to uh, Ukraine and make their U-turn and cross yep. Route 10. Yep. Yep. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who have been doing it for a long time. Yeah. And also... It was done before this was even up. You had the U no U-turns in there and they're still, you know... Yes, they, they, they did. They make their right turn onto Jefferson thinking that you know, that, that, uh, that they can make, make the turnaround. When they see they can't, then they jump into Ukraine to make the turnaround, you know? Now, also, coming out of Ukraine, when you try to make a left, now you have cars coming around f at a faster speed because now you've got a bigger radius. Also, you've got cars coming out of Quick Check, which are on you uh, immediately. Now you're looking down there to try to cross two lanes of traffic to get to Route 10 East. And uh, it's worse than ever now, you know, as far as trying to get out. Also, you have people who are going to turn into Ukraine that stop in front of you. So uh, they have to go into Ukraine. They're stopping in front of you. To, in a to make a left into Ukraine. Going north on oh, okay. Jefferson. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in other words, so now you got an obstacle. Yeah. So you to have an left. opportunity to get into the queue, but they're there. They're blocking you. You can't get into the good. They're going to make the turn. Uh, you know, uh, th there are there are movement issues on this thing that have to be addressed. You know, I don't want to be. But the thing is, everybody on Ukraine who are, are not traffic experts knew what was going to happen, and here it is, and you had a, uh, a traffic expert testify that the traffic was going to be better oh no i i wrote down like 17 questions he answered maybe half and half of the time he went uh oh i don't know if i asked the question i don't know i don't know anything about that so i think uh this approval was pre-approved and i think everybody involved knew there was going to be a traffic problem and here it is but the thing is, once it's built, you're not going to tear it down. So, you know, it, 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 let, let's let's go a step further. Let's say we close the driveway on Ukraine. Okay, put the curbing through, close the driveway, and that's it. Still, with that access on Jefferson Road, isn't going to stop these characters from still making their U-turns in there. That's right. So, but but but, but Ed, how whatever, about a ticket in, blitz? In, but bear with me. In, in fairness to anything. Any facility, anything that went, forget quick check, forget CQ, forget, I don't care who, put a drugstore in there, right, that has an access onto Jefferson Road, and, and they're going to want it, and they're going to have an access on 10, you're right, is, is still going to have this problem of coming out onto Jefferson if they, if they, if they, if they don't come out 10 to use the, the uh, clover, well, it's not even a clover leaf, it's yeah, just a, a clover leaf. Handle. Yeah, so I mean, you know, I, I don't know what the resolution is that is never build on route never build on the corner I mean you know but l let's be realistic about some things I mean we got to deal with some of these problems and uh, you know uh, I'm for one and, uh, and I'm one out of five okay uh, and for any solution and I will support any solution even so far as to telling them to close the damn entrance and ent entrance and what's now <laughs> being used as an exit uh, on Ukraine, if that check wouldn't go for that, because then uh, people coming north on South Jefferson can't get to uh, Quick Check. So you, what are they going to do? And that they're going to want to go. They're going to drive through my bow, through my my stanchions, and and want to get on it that way. Yeah. So I mean, is that the? It's not the solution. But uh, I talked to the CEO of uh, Quick Check. Um, did I get solutions between the two of us? No, I can't say I did at this point, but only to alert him that we've got an ongoing problem that has to be addressed. So we will bring him back in. Uh, I want to give the chief an opportunity to, to look this whole thing over and make some recommendations to us. I mean, we're not, we're not traffic guys, 
uh, you know, hmm. huh? engineering, engineering, engineering Jerry, Jerry, by the way, Jerry's expertise is in traffic. Um, and uh, we'd like engineering to take a look at it. Um, you know, uh, I look, think we know it's, uh, it's not uh, going smoothly. I think we can all make that admission. Um, however, it's only open two weeks. And we said at every single meeting there was before this uh, was approved, but nobody wanted to believe it or didn't want. Uh, I don't know. know if it's a matter of not believing. I think we had, you know, traffic experts who quick uh, check traffic pays experts a lot of money. Are paid by the applicant. Agreed. Agreed. So much however, for however, there are some solutions. One is to put the stanchions in place. I think that's going to prevent the left turn. We have the chief who's going to be administering um, the the, uh, the U-turn situation and enforcing that. Uh, there's some things that can be done. We're not going to just live with this the way it is. I think that's the yeah. message. There's there's some more studies. Some Over more time, some more it might be ironed out a little better, but it'll never be perfect. And also, I would like to know what is this intersection rated now after all the improvements? It was an F intersection. What is it now? Oh, I, I you know, it, it, it's, it's, I go back to what Bob said. It's a little early yet to, to tell what, to evaluate the interest. I can tell you without looking at quick check, I, I can tell you that uh, my trip to town hall from, from south of there coming up with the new three lanes and all, uh, the, the, uh, I, I get through the intersection far quicker. I mean, I can immediately tell you that. Have I, have I, has the state given me a grade on the new plan? And by the way, is the new plan done? No, because the other, the other piece to the formula that we got to look at is um, the improvement of the traffic circle itself around the Ukrainian church. Whoever takes that property has got to complete the state DOT plan. And you know what that was? That was a, that's going to be a two-way to go eastbound, coming from Jeff, there's going to be a two-way to go to go in, so you don't have to go to the to the corner. All that being said, look, that that happens. We look at that when that happens. Right now, we're focused on the on the QC, on the quick check. We're focused on yep. that piece of property, and we're focused on Ukraine. We can solve. We think we could solve the route, the Jefferson Road exit, from the from the immediate U-turn. We now have to address what we've always had before us, only it's more frequent now, and that's the U-turns on Ukraine. So I can only ask you to, to bear with us a little a little further uh, until we can go, oh, oh, this ordinance here? Yeah. That's gonna be introduced tonight. This is on Title 39, yeah. right? Tonight. Yeah, we're introducing an ordinance tonight, John's reminding me on Title 39, which is gonna give uh, police different police powers. Uh, to what extent we're learning more about it from the chief? But we want to introduce that tonight as a start. We will then meet with the quick check people, with his traffic engineers, with our people, and we are going to try our level best to come up with the best solution we possibly can. And like I said, it, w whatever the recommendation is to the extreme of even closing that driveway, if that's the answer, you that's know, but I, I don't think that's the answer. That's not the answer. <laughs> Ron, uh, let me just say something to, uh, an addendum to what Bob said. And I want to say that um, we have been discussing this, especially lately since it opened, but Chief Bulkar recommended to me years ago when I was on the Board of Education, when any traffic study is done, the best thing to do is go to the local police department because they're on the roads more than anybody else. What's really nice about trying to get a solution to this problem is the Chief wasn't involved in this design, in this pattern, in this engineering when it was Put it, being put into place. The police were never consulted about but now, the traffic now, or anything. Now, instead of just saying, well, Chief, we, we, you can't go, say that. You can't say that. You can't say that because please. part of part of the approval please. study please. is a is a is an approval from the department. But on here, the here's where we are now, though. The chief, with everybody else <clears> in the <throat> department, is working as hard as they could to make this better, safer, flow better, and not just go on an education. Uh, tour because there's a lot of people coming in and out of there because it's a state highway from other towns We're never going to be able to get through to everybody But I just want you to know truthfully like Ron said and Bob said all hands are on deck mm. We've all been there. We know what it is and what's nice is the chief already had a lot of good ideas Ron and mm -hmm. George have been there and watched it with the chief and I, I assure you we know there's a problem and there's been some great suggestions and, and the chief is uh spearheading some very nice things right now so it's not going to stay the way it is and to conclude what bob said 
we're going to work on it. You're in touch with all of us all the time. You can come here every two weeks. We're, we're going to work on it, and we want to make it better. And there's been a lot of recommendations in the last couple of days, and, it, and that's real. Give, give us a little more time, Ed. We, 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 you know we're going to keep you in the loop, and uh, we'll, we'll let you know exactly uh, what's been discussed. Uh, as a matter of fact, my suggestion is we put together some of these uh, traffic discussions that maybe yourself or somebody from the area wants to be a part of that too, and that's fine. Well, what I have noticed, people disregard signs. Yep. So yep. what do you do? I, you keep have a using, I keep using the words I can't, I can't control those who want to break the law, but then again, my chief is telling me they're not breaking the law. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm between the devil and the deep blue sea. So the, the signs that say do not enter, they're not enforceable? Uh, chief, what do, that's got a good, a good question. I'll talk to you later about it. Right. You, you misspoke, but I'll, I'll address you later. Yeah. All right, we cannot, until I don't know what's being approved tonight, quick check property itself, we have no Title 39 authority other than statutes like drunk driving, careless driving, et cetera. All those signs and what have you, no left turn, no enter, whatever the signs may be, we have zero enforcement power. That, that being said, that may very well change as of tonight. I don't know what, what's, what's being approved or voted on. Ukraine Road, <coughs> U-turns are legal. That requires a line of sight study and what have you. You can't just go slapping no U-turn signs places and all of a sudden it, it, it's so. We'll have our traffic officer in, con in conjunction with engineering look into if that's an appropriate place and, it, and it's beneficial to put a no U-turn sign. All that's going to do though is if somebody inadvertently makes a turn on the Ukraine rule, what are they supposed to do now? Stay there forever? No. Ticket blitzes are proven not to work. They might work the minute you're standing there, the day you're standing there. I'm not going to send my guys out there. Part of our core values is respect, fairness, sensitivity. It's not fair to people to go into a design flawed place that's confusing even to me who's driven through it a hundred times trying to figure out what's better, and all of a sudden I'm going to start whacking them with tickets. Somebody's ignorant and does something blatantly, obviously inappropriate, they will get a ticket. Part of enforcement is education. I can stop somebody and advise them, hey, by the way, sir or ma'am, what you're doing is wrong, it's illegal, have a nice day. Nine times out of ten, that's enough. The next time they go through whatever that particular scenario is, they probably won't do it again. Those who repeat people tend to, they'll get their tickets elsewhere, and, they, and we tend to catch up to them eventually. We're doing everything we can with it. That is your problem, I get it, it's our problem, but that's only one problem in the town. I can't detach my guys to that when they're available, and I can tell you this, all this past week, They've been out there enforcing the, the laws that they can as now, far as don't block the box and whatever. you said it was a design flaw. That's a de I was not involved in that. I don't know what involvement Chief Gallagher had other than I will tell you this. We get plans, and there's a sheet that's specific to the chief, and it says uh, approved or what have you or recommended. Now, I don't know what Chief Gallagher saw. He, what he may have been given may have changed since between when he signed off on it and, and when it was done. I don't know. Anymore. I'm not Chief Gallagher. I was not involved. Not that it would be any better if I was involved. I can tell you, me driving in there, it's not a user motorist friendly layout, period. Period. There's nothing friendly, nothing clear about it. Putting up more signs, it, it, it's either sign blind or sign drunk. Too many signs, now you're going to ignore every sign. If there's 100 signs, on which sign do I read? So putting up more signage is not going to help the situation. It just won't. It's going to make it worse. It needs to be cleared up. The ways in and out need to be cleared up. The laws and the, the ordinances for Ukraine Road need to be cleared up. And yes, we will enforce, but like I said, enforcement is not always tickets. Enforcement can be stopping them, educating them, have a nice day. Okay, and, that, and that's that. My guys are not here to be henchmen and go out and, and enforce ticket points as long as it's warranted. Well, when I called the police, one who showed up, there was a truck parked there. Okay, so, and I, you know, and like, I told them, and I researched don't, give them, don't give them a ticket. I told the cop that. And, and, I said, tell them. Well, you're, 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 you're kinder than I was because I wanted a ticket blitz on no blocking the box last week. And they went on a And thank you, and thank you Chief. They enforced we, it. we made some tax money, okay? And we're going to continue to do that. And if that's what it takes, and a Chief and I may differ on this a little bit, like he says, you know, you don't want to stand there with a cop giving violations all day. But people don't understand that box. It says do not block the box. Right. I see it by police entrance. I'll be honest with you, it's because it's new. Big. 
it's newer in the science. This, since that box has been improved, because that's our entrance and access, as you're aware for the police, it's gotten better. Is it it's perfect? Is better, it, but I it's see not perfect. People there. Okay, but and again, Ukraine Road is never going to be perfect. Uh, Malaparta's Road is never going to be perfect. Route 10 is never going to be There's always going to be a violation somewhere, a quick check or, or no quick check or what have you. We will do our best. I, I, that's my promise to you that we will do the best we can to help alleviate whatever the issues are there. It's never going to be perfect. There are going to be violations. We will, there, won't, there won't be a cop there every time there's a violation. That's the way it is. There's not a cop on an Algonquin Park where there's a violation. There's not, there's not, you know, it's like Gil saying, where's a cop when you need one? I get it. I understand it. If I lived there, I may not be very happy about what you're going through myself. All I can say is we will do everything we can to try to alleviate the issues. And I think one, one of the, th all, one of the, one of the things that we can. Well, it appears the uh, biggest problem is quick check itself. They have to do something. Well, then they're part of, we, like the mayor said, we will be addressing like this. Redesign. And, and again, this is probably Texas. day late dollar short. This pro probably should have been looked into before, it's, but it's open. Like, it, Gas tankers can't get out of there. I, saw, I watched one out my window. I watched one out my office window today. That's a, yeah. a problem. I saw it. I think one of the things that, that I'm going to bring to. Uh, uh, Quick Check's attention through Dean Durling is that through this early period of time where we're flushing out a lot of these issues that uh, he provide a traffic control person it could be in, I don't know in a blue uniform or whatever I mean what, what authority he has is to tell you not to do it but to have a traffic control person on the property at the corner no, but we can, I, 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 I'm taking up time there's many things. I mean, they can certainly hire an off-duty officer if, if we can put that on them to sit out there certain times. If there's like a, a well, this is going to take more work than just, we're not going to figure this out tonight. I, I promise you, it's going to get the full attention of myself, whatever committees yeah. decide, decides, whoever to be involved. Obviously, engineers will be involved. I'll have my traffic officer involved. Certainly, quick check representatives need to be involved. And, we'll, and whatever changes can be done to help alleviate it, that, that's... <laughs> we'll, we'll I can assure you that's the way it's going to go. I mean, the, the exit on the Route 10 for Quick Check, all they need is a bigger radius. So these tractor trailers. Yeah, I've seen them go over the lawn. The curve, yeah, right? yeah. And, and, and what, what's somewhat surprising, again, we don't want to do their engineering tonight, but that somewhat surprises me because part of the uh, approval process is uh, radiuses that will accommodate a 54 footer. And now I see a guy bringing a tanker out there and he can't get his rear wheels off the back. He's going over the grass. Yeah. He's like he doesn't have shrubs there. Shrub he would have taken them all out. But, uh, Ed, we, we, we've got, we've got hey, issues. We all know the issues. Engineers out there every but, uh, time I saw them every single day, or at least guys that watch engineer types that they were working on any part of that roadway. Now, how it's not better, I don't know. Let, let's get, we're going to get, so we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're going to get quick check in here. They know it. Their CEO knows it. They know we're upset with what's going on. Give Jerry an opportunity to work on this. Let's get the chief's final decisions as to what he sees and what he recommends can or can't be done and put it all together and, and uh, see if we can get it made better for But they should have jurisdiction over their own drivers, like that food delivery truck that came barreling out of that side entrance. The wrong way. The wrong way. Yeah. And the reason he went out so fast. Was well, there's another way to do that. It's what they do in California. And you have to go to the microphone. We're not picking you up, and we need it for the minutes. Oh. Anyway, uh, the guy knew he was doing something wrong. So that's why he didn't even slow down when he came out of there. So I'm sure they could have uh, a say what their drivers, their own company drivers do. You know, it, it's a, a part of the, again, I can't control Durling's people, but part of the recommendation that we made to Durling is that he inform his people at the pumps, the service people. Now, maybe maybe it's through giving them flyers temporarily or whatever mm -hmm. that, that they're informed of what's going on out there, that they can intervene and give people information that... Uh, well, all they got to do is tell their drivers to obey the, obey the signs. That's you all. know, you, you give them more credit than I do because I think they know damn well what they're doing. Of course they do. You know, there's no question in my mind. I mean, this guy with a Mack truck knew exactly what, what part of the grill I was looking at when he cut across, believe me. Right, so, one, more, one more word? Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Ed, you know, the, the one thing I'd like to say just to conclude, and, and I think this is very healthy dialogue, but before I talked about the police being involved in the design, and I assured you that all hands were on deck, the chief's explanation to me just shows you how involved he's been, and that's the commitment 
the entire town is giving, and everybody's talking to the chief about this, and it's going to get undivided attention to make it better. So, chief, I really appreciate your explanation. The passion came through, your, your, your vision, your uh, thinking outside the box. We all appreciate it. And that's where it is now, Ed. It's not going to stay the way it is. Everybody's concerned, everybody's yeah. talking, and everybody's losing a little well, bit of sleep Well, I just made a this. suggestion about the exit onto Route 10. You need a bigger radius. And Even sure. uh, smaller trucks have a hard time getting out of there. Yeah, and, and the tractor trailer's got to go two or three lanes to make the turn. Yeah. Our engineering department, Ed, is actively involved doing their own evaluation of it. We'll be meeting with Quick Check. We'll be advising them as well as the idea of a notification. We can, through the office of the mayor, have a delivery to the CEO of Durling mm. that says to them, here's some tips that you should provide the guys who, the gals who deliver things to this store. Yeah. Number one, the primary means of access should be this way. The primary means of exit should be that way. Yeah, but signs are for other people. The signs, <laughs> the signs are for the general motorists but the people who are delivering there on a regular basis... They should know. They should know. Exactly. It's a training. They talk about how well they train the people inside the store. Yeah. They have to train the people outside in terms of what do they do when they leave the premises. Oh, also, uh, not to get off the subject, but the, you know the uh, gas station on Route 10 uh, by Algonquin? Uh, it's a no-name store. The Sunoco that's closed? On a... On a e Eastbound lane. Oh, the one that sells uh, unbranded gas? Yeah. Cash gas? Russian. Yeah. Yeah. I was in there two times. When the tanker came in, they go around the pumps. They have the office over here. The tankers have to jump the sidewalk and drive on a sidewalk to make the turn to get to the place where they want to deliver the uh, gas. And you can see tire marks on there. Well, it, 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 yeah. it, it's, clear, it's clear with the mud tracks that we see on Ukraine where they're making their turns. Matter of oh, fact, yeah. I even see them making them earlier. Yeah. But, I mean, we, could, we know it. As Ace said, too, we see it. We understand it. We have witnessed it. And, and George actually had a pad on his lap and was counting the amount of U-turns they did in a particular hour. Mm. So, you know, we've got to bring this all forward to Quick. Quick Check's got to play a role in this. It's their responsibility oh, yeah. as well. Um, you know, and, and again, uh, my, my disappointment is that if every one of us was real good drivers and we all followed the rules, we wouldn't be talking. But, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with people that have to do everything for their own convenience, regardless of safety, and that's the problem, you know. But we're, you know, either Carol or you, I mean, I'm trying to keep Carol in the loop, but either Carol or you, if you want to be a part of what we're talking about with these people, I'm happy to to have you come in and sit in on it, you know. Uh, I think that would be helpful. You live there, you're impacted by it, he should hear it. So as soon as we get some meetings set up, I'll get a notice out to you and uh, we'll, we'll reopen this, you know. Bear with us, bear okay. with us, Ed. I know it's, uh, that's not, the, that's not your, the answer you want, but. Uh, I was just told to sit down. Yeah. And I'm not even married to her. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Carol Fomchenko, Malaparte, Throat and Whippany. I want to really thank you for getting right on this. Um, I, I just have two things, two signs. I know that a million signs aren't going to help. My main concern is the dead end sign because you cannot see it from Ukraine Road. It's on, this is Mark House property. You turn slightly into the street, and by the time you do that and see a dead end sign, you're already on Malapartis Road. Um, the other sign I think would be vital. It might, might um, help to avoid some accidents, and I had mentioned it um, in some emails to you, is I think that the U-turn sign that goes around the jug handle around the church, it doesn't tell you where the jug handle takes you. It just says you, you, you and left-hand turn. It does not say North Jefferson Road. And maybe if it said where it went, yeah. people yeah. wouldn't be, you know, DOT commented on that. You know, I, that, I think that's that, a yeah, more important even than to, moving so, the so dead So far we brought some of this to their attention. So we're going to bring them back in on it. Where the high, we had a terrible accident a couple of weeks oh, ago. I know. Where somebody came down to the intersection off of 287. They go to make a left turn at the intersection without the jug handle. Three-car collision. 
Because I mean, if he knew he was going to North Jefferson know, Road and saw a big sign that said U-turn take, you know, North Jefferson Road take U-turn, that might have been be avoided. Um, yeah. Signage in some instances can be very por important because if you're going to Troy Hills Road, it says Troy Hills Road, you know, U-turn. I mean, that's a simple one. Yep. yep. And I think that if we had the dead end sign, and because drivers think that if they come down to the end of Ukraine Road, that they make a right, they can get back onto Route 10 East. We'll let the DOT weigh in on the highway stuff. I mean, they've yeah. that's, that's their... But I really want to thank you because yeah. um, it's, you know, not so much for me. I live halfway down the street, but the people that live right there, it's unbearable. You know, because in, in it's a, 24 a hours a day. It, it, it's retrospect, and that's and what they say, hindsight is, is mm -hmm. 2020. Right. 2010. I mean, you know, b before this was built, uh, you know, I wish I could have stayed on the road and seen what I've seen today. Uh, you know, would it have changed anything in, in the long run? Uh, you know, m my concern is that the corner, the, looking at the positive side of things, the intersection had a multi-million multi dollar improvement. I know that. The, the uh, piece of property itself was never going to have to remain the way it was. The cleanup no. was $900,000. We, reco <coughs> yeah, we, we recognize got, we that. We got rid of, may maybe some people feel differently, but we got rid of, of, of a blight. But did we want to inherit a problem? No. So we're going to try and correct it, and like Bob said, let, let's, let's give it some time to but settle in. But I think in. if we try the simpler measures first, and if then they don't work, then we can go into the ones that may not be you know something planning, that we would plan, like, the, but the may planning have board, to be. The planning board always puts into their, uh, into their uh, resolutions of approvals the fact that we have the right uh, to go back on as built. Okay. Okay, and, and we, we have no problem exercising that. Okay. No problem Appreciate doing. it. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll stay in touch on it, for sure. Uh, I just wanted to mention, I was thinking about what the chief said. And he's right about cars. Once they turn into Ukraine, you have no choice but to make a U-turn. Where are you going to go? Uh, what if you have the entrance to uh, Quick Check on Ukraine open all the time so they can go through Quick Check? I mean... Uh, uh, and don't have a big sign, uh, dead end, so they go into Quick Check and then either go out on Jefferson or down Route 10, make the jug oh, handle. Oh, and you know where you put that sign? Just after the Quick Check entrance, exactly. right, where they can immediately see it and right. say dead end. So the guy says to, the guy, whoever it is, uh, says, okay, yeah. I'm going to jump in the entrance here. Take right. no chief. might be a way to calm some of it down. You know? Yeah. Ex exactly. Do their U-turns on the property, which means they go out the right driveway. But then I could see some of these guys doing circles all day. <laughs> you know? But, uh, all right. Just a thought. That's a good, Ed, that's a start. Yeah. We'll, we'll get the stanchions in. We'll get the stanchions in as well. Hey, Jim. Jim Martin from 12 Fanic Road. Um, Talking on the same subject, I'd just like to say, people coming f on South Jefferson, heading north, that want to go into Quick Check, they go to that block, and they all of a sudden make that turn so that they can go down Ukraine to get into the correct entrance. Uh -huh. Now, there's, there's no indication that, I mean, it, it's just something has to be done. I said to George, I said, couldn't they put a light? And he said, it's too close. I said, what do you mean it's too close? Too close to Route 10. You can't have a light that close to Route 10. And I said, well, have you ever ridden in Boston? Have you ever ridden in any little town that it's every light? There's a, you go 10 feet and there's either a liquor store or a, or a traffic yeah. light. State uh, of New Jersey. Yeah, they, they, they regulate that. Go ahead. In fact, we wanted a uh, traffic signal right outside here by Town Hall Drive, and they would not approve that. All I'm saying is now that you're saying people coming on South Jefferson, heading north, want to go into Quick Check, the only place they can go in is at that block. Yeah. And the block has to be kept open. The, uh, th there's another uh, opportunity we have, but <laughs> it's based upon some development. A little further down. What's the, ne the next block down on the other side by uh, Apollo? Apollo. We, we, have, we have approvals and we have... Um, 
conditions that Apollo would be on Apollo that the CAE and peoples that lease over there, which is the uh, craft people, no longer craft people, Mondelez. Mondelez people, um, at a certain amount, after a certain amount of, uh, of development in that area, would be responsible for putting in a light. At but Apollo. they still can't make a left into yeah. quick check. Doesn't help, does it? It gives, <laughs> it gives Ukraine people a better cue to get in if they have a stoplight there then they can get in into the box and, and, get, and get out of there, you know? But, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of similar solutions. We'll take a look at them. That's, that's the only thing that I'm saying as far as, don't forget that they're trying to make a left turn from that opening, which is the block, which yep. has to be kept clean. And I don't know what they're gonna do. Too much thought process is gonna happen to them, I think. But. Okay, that's all. Thank you. We'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring in the guys with all the big degrees in traffic movement and see what their recommendation. Maybe it's a flyover. <laughs> there was a plan for that one time, you know? Hey, Jim. Jim Neidhart, 3414 Appleton Way, Whippening. Uh, same subject. <laughs> I won't uh, belabor it. I'm just going to try to add to the conversation. Uh, the chief said that the a certain number of people are going to break the law and when the police aren't there they're going to do it anyway when you do come up with potential solutions i would strongly recommend that you don't overestimate the positive impact of education this particular location is a location that draws a lot of transient traffic one-timers people that are coming off 287 onto 10 and vice versa. They're not people from our neighborhood. Now, people from our neighborhood do shop there, mm -hmm. but a disproportionately large number mm -hmm. are transient one-timers. So the education that you might do for uh, customers frequent in the, the quick check is only going to have an effect on the locals. So I think any Edu any solution has to involve some type of a physical barrier or something that's painful to the people. I mean, you, you, you can't change their attitude. You have to change their behavior. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because these are onesies that come and go. And as it relates to the delivery people, the, the people that deliver there are not employees of Quick Check. They're people that own Dorito, Route Trucks, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and a whole variety of different uh, type of trucks, mm -hmm. some of whom aren't route owners that are there all the time. Yeah. They're people that deliver to so hundreds they, of locations. They should only make the mistake once. So uh, what I'm saying is the education and yeah. trying to get quick check to control, quote, their people, they're not th those people. It's nice to say, but I don't think it's realistic. I, I think the solution that you come up with has to be along the lines of what you were talking with the, the yellow barriers. Right. I don't know what the heck you call those things. Whatever. That's you not got, you got better, go I, I closer just, to it than I do. I would, I would yeah. really not rely too much on education. I heard that a couple times. Delivery, deliver, I have no excuse for delivery trucks because you can make your mistake once there, but the manager of the facility should say, this is the way you come in and you go out. I mean, that's, that's really it. So uh, I, I, you know. ju I just wouldn't rely too much you on that as, as you know, I'm not, little, uh, I'm not trying to sound yeah. like, like a, you know, I'm on a pulpit here, but at the same time, understand, Quick Check has 150 stores. Jim, 150 stores. You can't tell me that the template for this is in pattern a dozen more times and a dozen more intersections worse than this. Yeah. So that's why I'm putting a lot of the responsibility and the load on them. And you should as much as you can, but I'm just saying, you still got human nature to deal with. You yeah. got truck drivers <laughs> that are truck drivers, and you got resident. I, uh, think, it's a, I think it's a combination, like you say, but yeah. a combination of all things. Yes, the signage, but yes, yeah. their people have to be informed to instruct their, their, the people that are always driving the food and service trucks on there. And uh, even in the case if they have to put, like I said, temporarily, the traffic control officer on there for some period of time until it penetrates. At least rush But you're not going to stop yeah. the transients. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to stop the transients, and, and that, that's just the problem, yeah. you know? On, on the positive side, uh, I live off of Eden Lane, as you know, uh, and prior to the quick check and the improvement there, I would say the two biggest traffic issues at that intersection 
were rush hour in the morning where mm -hmm. the traffic would back up past the Abundant Life Church, sometime almost as far as Eden Lane. Yeah. I have to say that since this improvement has been made, I know it's only a couple of weeks, there is almost no problem. You got three lanes of traffic, the left lane goes left, you got one lane that goes straight, and you got another lane that can go straight or turn right. If, if the redevelopment around the, the jug handle happens, that'll make it even better. But it is a dramatic improvement. And I'm not talking as a shopper of Quick Check, because I use the other one. I'm yeah. just talking as uh, somebody that traverses that road and crosses that intersection a fair amount of times at the, at the morning rush hour. The other, pro the other problem at that intersection prior to the improvements was people coming off of Route 287 onto Route 10 were getting clogged up and backing up onto 287. Oh yeah, the queue. 10 was backing up past 287, back to the no-tell-motel -tell place. I mean, it really was oh a yeah. heavy backup. By adding that extra lane in front of the quick check on the eastbound lane, that has helped a lot also. So I think the promise of, you know, if quick check goes in there, there's going to be major improvements. It's going to alleviate the traffic situation. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I think it's got immensely better from a, a driver standpoint. Uh, I will make one suggestion to look at, and as a, I'm not a traffic expert either, but when the people do c are coming on Route 10 mm -hmm. from 287 area and traveling east, the lineage on the street where you can get into the right lane to make the right turn onto South Jefferson mm -hmm. only establishes that lane after the entrance exit. Mm -hmm. Nobody pays any attention to that. Mm -hmm. If they do, that slows up the traffic. People should be able to go into that break that, that, that turning lane as soon as the curb allows them to do. There should be no lines there. Well, that, that that'll relieve. It. That'll give you a dedicated right, and that should relieve it. Yeah. Yeah. Half the people don't pay attention to it. The other people that do are just slowing up the traffic. Yeah. So just let them go right there. Get rid of that line completely. The people in Quick, quick Check got to wait till it's safe to make the right-hand turn it's, out of it's, there. It's, it's a learning process. Yeah. It's, a, it's a learning process. What are they open now? A week, a full week yeah. or, or yeah. so? So, I mean, you know, we're, we're learning about all the issues they have. And, and by the way, I don't think it's going to be a big surprise to Dean Durling when he comes in, I think, once we, once we bring this all to his attention. Uh, I, I think he's heard this. Like I said, you can't you can't run as many facilities as he does at as many traffic corners as he does and not understand some of the problems that we have. Give him, so, give him the link to the video. You know. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is still open. If anyone would like to address the Township Committee at this time, once again. Uh, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Maraska. Aye. Mr. Bruna. Aye. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Francielli. Aye. Approved on departmental reports from that to the record. We have reports from the police chief, from the superintendent of public works, from the construction official, and from the uh, property maintenance officer, and those reports are available for public inspection. We have the approval of the township committee minutes, the regular minutes of October 27, 2016. May we have a motion for approval? So moved. A motion by Mr. Karamaskis. Gallagher, all in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. <coughs> we have the ordinance for introduction, ladies and gentlemen. It is docketed as ordinance number 35-2016. It is an ordinance of the Township Committee of Township of Hanover, making the provisions of subtitle 1 of Title 39, with various traffic regulations applicable to the Quick Check Realty LLC, also known as the Quick Check Convenience Store and gasoline service station located at 2 South Jefferson Road at the intersection of New Jersey State Highway Route 10 Eastbound and regulating the use of said roadways, driveways, and parking areas by motor vehicles. This ordinance will be further considered for public hearing and final passage at a meeting of the Township Committee on the 8th of December at 8.30 p.m. And at that time, any person wishing to be heard concerning the ordinance will be given the opportunity to be heard. The ordinance and the notice of introduction will be published in full in the daily record in accordance with law. We now have a motion on introduction. So moved. 
So I'll move by Mr. Bruno, second, second. by Mr. Uh, Faramaska. And roll call for introduction, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francielo. Aye. So we'll introduce. And ladies and gentlemen, as we continue with the agenda, we have resolutions as a consent agenda. And on the recommendation of the uh, township attorney, we are going to delete item number B on the consent agenda. So we have uh, resolutions A, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Are there any questions concerning any of those resolutions? Move that they be approved. And motion second. by Mr. Faramaska, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francie Elwood. Aye. So approved. And again, we continue, ladies and gentlemen, with the payment of bills. The total amount, $8,092,579.43. Motion. motion to pay the bills. Second so move. Bruno, second by Mr. Franciello and Mr. Faramaska. I roll call Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramaska. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Franciello. Aye. So approved. And we have the raffles as also raffle applications 2974, 2975, 2976, 2977, and 2978. Also as a consent agenda. And we have a motion for approval. So moved. So moved Second. Mr. Francioli, seconded by Mr. Gallagher. On roll call, Mr. Gallagher. Aye. Mr. Faramas. Aye. Mr. Bruno. Aye. And Mr. Francioli. Aye. So approved. Mr. Chairman, members of the Township Committee, that clears the agenda of the Business Administrator Township Clerk. Thank you, and Joseph. Thank you. Very good. Uh, gentlemen, once again, I'd like to open the floor. Any items so not moved. on the agenda? Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the microphone and the floor is open. If you'd like to address the Township Committee, you may do so from the podium, giving us your name and address for the record. Seeing none. Hearing Motion none. to close. Motion Second. to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, gentlemen, it's up to you, Committeeman Gallagher. You know, I just want to report on the DPW for a second, and I always give you a broad brush on what they do, and that's what I'm going to do tonight, too, but this list really jumped out at me, and I just want to report in a little bit of detail, guys, on some numbers here. In October, they collected 392 tons of sanitation in 50 yards of brush. They repaired and replaced many street signs in town. They swept the main roads. They also participated, like we discussed last time, in the Central Park River cleanup, which was a great success. A lot of people involved in it. They boarded up the house on Clay Street, and patching roads just in October was Herbert, Addy, Polhemus, Sylvan, South Bel Air, Lewis, Woodland, Woodcrest, Sycamore, Grand, Ridgedale, Poplar, Malapartus. They were also an integral part, once again, of One Day, One School, which was in October. And they picked up 2,595 cubic yards of leaves. Mm. They're out there seven days a week. They're doing a phenomenal job. And also, Chief, I just want you to know, as far as traffic, I asked them how they were making out out there, because it looks very dangerous. And they said everybody's very been very cooperative. They haven't had that many close calls, so that's a very good thing, too. They're also constantly uh, working with Committeeman Bruno with painting the fields, taking care of the fields for soccer and baseball. They're always down at the um, Brickyard, which is one of our jewels in Hanover Township. And before I conclude, I just want to say that tomorrow is the banquet for the Hanover Tigers football and cheer. And I want to just thank that entire organization for another great season, a great job. Their, um, their board is unbelievable. Their coaches are unbelievable. The staff is phenomenal. They have 600 people involved in their program. And I just want to say that I appreciate everything they do. I know we appreciate everything they do. And they're just doing everything right for the right reasons. That's it, Mayor. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. John. Yes, uh, Hanover Township was recently the recipient of a gold award from Trans Options. The Trans Options Gold Award was um, distributed at their 30th anniversary. 
And Trans Options, for those of you who are not familiar with Trans Options, which is located in Hanover Township, Trans Options is an organization which facilitates um, traffic, traffic movements. We should, we should bring them in on quick check. <laughs> <laughs> Ride sharing. Um, Bayer is a primary participant with um, trans options in terms of trying to provide people with alternate ways to get to work aside from their car. In addition to that, trans options is working closely um, in terms of safe streets. It's, it's looking at bicycling alternatives. So it, they're doing their piece in trying to support um, the environment and it was good to see the efforts of Hanover Township be recognized at their 30th anniversary. Very nice. It absolutely is very nice. Nicely done. Good, very good. Robert. A couple of quick things. Just the um, thanks to everybody involved in the masquerade at Malapartis. That was terrific, um, by the way. Beautiful weather. Oh. Um, all went well. We have a lot of local businesses that supported that effort, over 1,100 kids went trick-or-treating in a very safe environment and didn't have to run up the uh, sidewalks and ring doorbells, although I'm sure they did that the uh, following Monday. Uh, but it was a good start to the Halloween weekend, if you will. Um, our next event will be our uh, Santa Claus, um, December 3rd at 2 o'clock in the rec center, Cookies with Santa. Um, so we're all looking forward to that. And then um, registrations for our winter programs, basketball, wrestling, and so forth, are going to be coming to a close very quickly. So we encourage everybody who is waiting till the end to sign up soon. Thank you, Mayor. Very good. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Uh, I just want to uh, remind everybody uh, that uh, tomorrow, <coughs> Veterans Day, uh, take a moment uh, to think about all of those who served us, uh, all of those who paid the supreme sacrifice, I might add, and those who continue to serve us. Uh, John had an opportunity today to attend a uh, service at the uh, JCC, uh, and um, uh, to his surprise, but to, that's not necessarily a surprise, uh, how many veterans uh, came out of that particular there, there were over 25 veterans from uh, the greatest generation who served us in terms of preserving freedom in World War II. World War II, amazing, you know. Amazing but not amazing. I mean, the left, even the Lester Center, etc. But, it, but uh, uh, this, this is the day uh, we thank everyone for our freedom. We thank everyone who protects the freedom and gives me the, uh, as I always say, uh, the right to sit in this chair and talk to you tonight. So uh, thank you all very, very much for all that you have done. Those who have served in so many different countries, from the Korean War, World War II, Vietnam, etc., uh, right on through to Afghanistan and uh, our issues today. Uh, thank you all. Uh, anything else from the committee at this time? Mayor, if I could just conclude with... Uh, sure. Bob discussed uh, the Malapartis masquerade. And uh, I just want to say with Halloween, the School of Park Traffic Safety put out a very good Halloween safety message with Hanover Township PD and the schools. And I want to thank Hanover Township PD because their presence, they were, they were omnipresent. They were everywhere. They had great interaction with our community. Uh, a lot of our kids enjoyed seeing them. And uh, even Mischief Night, it was all positive. I know a quick check. I, had a quick check. I took my daughter and all her friends there. They were hanging out with uh, Officer Hermans. They were talking about we how, how much fun they were having. We don't have a mischief night in Hanover, do we? We don't have mischief. Really. But I, I just want to say the guys did a great job. Our kids were very safe. They felt safe. And every one of them that I saw said that they were interacting a little bit. And they, they really appreciate our police department. And I do too. So, Chief, you guys did a great job. We had a very safe event in Hanover Township. And thank you. That's it. Thank you, Ace. Very good. Okay, if there's no other business from the committee at this time, motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved and seconded. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Adjourn. Gentlemen, we're back into committee. Oh. I'll take all these with me, Joe. These are yours. Uh. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is now. Yeah.